continually mourning the loss of loved ones, I put your name at the altar before Christ this morning. So Father, I ask now that your spirit move throughout this sanctuary, that your word will be like a two-edged sharp sword and cut through that we have a hallelujah worship service this morning. Thanking you, thanking you, Father, for life, 
and for life more abundantly through your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you for that. We thank you for this opportunity to come to you and worship you. We thank you for this opportunity to call on your name. But as I said, we thank you most of all for life this day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. attention this morning and direct your attention to the word of God as it is in the book of Romans the fifth chapter Romans chapter five and we shall begin reading at the first verse I shall be reading from the new King James version amen and even though you are in your your homes right now, let's stand in reference to the reading of God's holy writ. Amen? Amen. 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 Romans chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. If you're there, say, Amen. Amen. If you're not there, say, Wait a minute, preacher. Okay, I heard you. So be it. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 begins like this. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. For when we were still without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Amen. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only that, 
but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have been re we now receive the recollection. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you in the blessed name of Jesus for the reading of your word. We thank you for reconciling us, O oh God, unto yourself, O oh God, through the blood of your Son, Jesus the Christ. Now, Father, as we come this morning, we pray that you will send a fresh anointing this way, O oh God. Let it fall fresh upon us, Father, so that the words that we speak may be empowered by your Spirit to bring life to those who have ears to hear and a heart to understand. Speak, Lord for your people are listening. We ask it in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. amen. And through whom we have now received the reconciliation. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. The grass withers and the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Have you ever asked yourself, am I saved? How do I know I am saved? If I am saved, why do I behave badly sometimes. Those are legitimate thoughts and questions that you may ponder. After all, we live in a time that is filled with swift transition and uncertainty. Somebody say amen. amen. And as followers of Christ, we are called to live and walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 When we look at verse 1, it begins with therefore. Amen. amen. Therefore is, a, is, is there for a reason. Amen. Because it points back to chapter 4. Amen. And when we go back and look at chapter 4 in our own uh, time to reflect upon God, you will see where God was dealing with Abraham and how Paul so eloquently wrote these words considering Abraham's faith in God. Amen. Amen. And because of this great faith, amen, God reconciled him to himself and said that he shall be the father of many nations. Somebody say amen. amen. Therefore indicates that we have a choice, a choice to choose what we want to believe. Are you with me this morning? Amen, amen. God had promised Abraham that he would be the father of many nations, but we know that at that time, Abraham did not have a child, did not have a son, did not have an heir to inherit, amen, his blessings, amen. But God came to him and made him a promise when he was about 75 years old, way past childbearing right. stage and his wife just as well beyond bearing a child. Amen. Uh, 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 it was 25 years later as we read the account in the book of Genesis that Abraham received a, a, a blessing through his son, through God who blessed him. Amen. 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 25 years. Did you hear what I said? 25 years he held on to the promise that the seed would come from his own loins. Right. Somebody say amen. amen. 
Amen. Amen. We have a choice to make. Y'all with me this morning? Yeah. We have a choice to make. We can choose to believe that Popeye's chicken is better than church's chicken. Y'all gonna talk to me this morning. We can choose to believe that Coca-Cola is better than Pepsi-Cola. Amen. Y'all not gonna talk to me this morning. Amen. We can choose to believe that Beyonce is the bee, the queen bee. Are you with me this morning? Amen. We can choose to believe that what Jesus did is foolproof for our salvation. Amen. Amen. I, I, I know I know you heard what I just said. I said foolproof. Amen. And some of you are probably thinking I meant to say foolproof. Amen. But instead I said foolproof. Y'all going to be with me this morning? Let me use for a subject then a foolproof salvation right. is what we're going to talk about right. today. Amen, amen. A foolproof uh, salvation. Foolproof means incapable of going wrong or being misused. I said it means incapable of going wrong or being misused. This foolproof salvation is infallible, it is without error, and it can never fail. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Lord. Foolproof is an adjective that also means it is impervious to damage at the hands of a fool. <laughs> I like that. Even a fool can't mess this up. Amen, amen. Full proof, I said full proof, F U L L, is a misspelling. It is a mistake based upon the similarity of the pronunciation of those two words. Full, full proof is the correct spelling, and full proof is an error. If you don't believe me, Type foolproof into your computer and see if it won't come up being misspelled. Y'all not going to talk to me this morning. Amen. Just as there is a difference between these two words, there is a difference between what the Bible says and what man believes. Amen, somebody. Amen. Let's look at chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. And we can start to highlight what this means that is what the bible is saying and what we can what choose to believe the bible says that in in that first verse that having been justified that is made right with god because of what jesus has done did you get that we are made right with god not because of what we have done but because of what Jesus has done, not by our works or not because of entitlement, amen. We enter into this place of undeserved privilege, amen. amen. Uh, Pastor Lynch, uh, Reverend Lynch said in this morning that we come with this privilege, amen, amen, yes. to worship him. Did you hear what I said? Don't forget to worship God. Amen. Even though we can't come to this house, amen, we still can worship him in the beauty of holiness. Amen. We come to this undeserved place this morning, this radical grace. Why do you call it radical grace, my brother? I'm glad you asked because it's unheard of to forgive somebody and to show them favor when they have literally spit in your face. Right. Are you going to talk back to me this morning? Amen. amen, amen. Not only are we about to discover what's really going on, Paul says according to the New Living Translation that we come confidently and joyfully looking to share in God's glory. After all we've done, amen, Paul says that we can look confidently and joyfully to receiving favor from God 
Amen and amen. Job said it like this in the 42nd chapter around about the 5th verse. Amen. Job said, I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear. But now my eye sees you. Amen. You see, Job's friends had come to him and tried to tell Job, Job, you've done something wrong. You might as well what? Fess up. Amen. But Job knew that he had done what? Nothing wrong. Amen. God was only using Job to test him, to prove to Satan that God's righteousness can be wrought in man who will humble himself, who will surrender himself to God. Somebody say amen. 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 He said, I have heard of you. Amen. But now I have seen you with my own eye. Amen. Understand this, my brothers and sisters. Hearing about God is not enough in itself. Even though faith cometh by hearing, hearing is not enough in itself. Knowing can cause you to become puffed up with pride and you miss your mark. Are you hearing me? Uh, some people like to read the Bible and come back and quote scripture to you or come back and tell you, I can prove it to you. It's right here in the Bible. Yes, it's in the Bible, but is the Bible in you? Come on, talk back to me this morning. Uh, intimacy and personal encounter enables us to perceive and to know him for ourselves. Did you hear what I said? Having intimacy and a personal encounter with God will enable us to know him for ourselves. Amen. God is saying, what is your testimony this morning? What have you got to say about him this morning? Amen. God is good and God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Yes, that is true. But we need to move beyond that statement Amen, amen. Listen, because of what Christ has done. Listen, my brothers. Because of what Christ has done, we can receive God's unmerited favor, his unconditional acceptance, and empowerment to do his enablement. You see, there are some of us who, 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 who doubt our salvation. You can tell by the way we live. Amen, amen. Uh, we, we, we say things that we should not say. We do things that we should not do. But we don't feel the guilt coming upon us because we are being big, bad enough to say what we want to what? Say and do. Amen. We just say it and think there is no consequence behind what we say. But we are his heirs and joint heirs with Christ. That means we represent the God of all creation and we need to be careful not only what we say but be careful also what we do. Amen. I submit to you my brothers and sisters that by faith we can do these things. If we have faith in God and in the promises of God nothing shall be impossible for you to do. Are you with me this morning? Not only, listen to this, not only can we rejoice in this good news, amen, that we shall receive his unconditional acceptance and his favor, not only can we rejoice in the good news, we can rejoice also when we run into problems, trials, and trouble. Are you with me? Listen, listen to what he says in 3 and 4. He says, and not only that, but we also glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Now, I'm going to ask you a question this morning. Who rejoices in tribulation? Who rejoices when trouble comes knocking at your door? Are you with me this morning? This is counterintuitive, my brothers and sisters. It is counterintuitive. What do you mean by that, preacher? I'm glad you asked. In other words, 
this goes against what you believe to be logical. That is not logical for me to rejoice because the doctor just told me I have stage four cancer. Come on now. This is not logical for me to rejoice when my supervisor just came and told me you have been laid off. Amen. Amen. This is not possible when your spouse leaves you home with these nine children and you don't have a job or food to eat. Come on here. Talk back to me this morning. It is impossible for you to rejoice in a situation like that in your own strength. Amen. And amen. How can you treat someone good who treats you bad and it make them like you more instead of less? How can you do that? You treat somebody good who has been treating you what? Bad. And it makes them love you more instead of less. Are you with me this morning? For God so loved the world who treated him bad. Come over here. Y'all won't have me preach this this morning. That, 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 that. He gave his only begotten son that you may have life and have it abundantly and eternally. Somebody say amen. 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 God says that even in tribulation, he says even in tribulation, you can rejoice. He says even when you are being uh, are going through perseverance. That is, you're having to endure. Amen. He said, you still can rejoice. He says, even when you do these things, they are developing your character. Yeah. What you must understand, my brothers and sisters, God has to strengthen our spiritual muscles. Somebody say amen. 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 Your spiritual muscles must be strengthened. Amen. In order for you to build a what? Strong church. Amen, somebody. Y'all going to help me preach this this morning. Amen. Amen. It says the Holy Spirit, which was given to us, is the means by which we are enabled to do God's enablement. Amen. It says the Holy Spirit was given to us as a down payment. Did you catch that? He came as a down payment to assure us. Amen. Amen of our permanent residence in the kingdom of God. Amen. You, you see, when you start going through, the Holy Spirit will come along. Amen. Right. He will pick you up. Amen. Turn you around. Amen. Plant your feet on a solid ground. Amen. Right. And that's reason for you to shout right there. Yeah. You just missed your cue to shout right there. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? He'll pick you up. Turn you around and place your feet on solid ground. Amen. I, I like it that when the song the songwriter said it like this: My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and His righteousness. Amen. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name, on Christ, the solid rock. I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. I don't know where you're standing this morning, but if you're standing, you ought to give God praise because you're standing on holy ground. You're standing on the solid rock, amen, which is the foundation of the world, amen, which is a full proof salvation. Somebody shout, glory, hallelujah. his holy name. My brothers and sisters put no confidence amen. in the flesh. Amen. The flesh will disappoint you. Amen. amen. It will run out on you. Amen. It will, it will talk down to you. Amen. It, it cannot be depended upon. Amen. And amen. The Bible teaches us. Amen. That even in our best day. Did you hear what I said? I said, even in our best day, amen, amen, we were just utterly helpless, amen. Not only were we utterly helpless, we were weak, 
we could not resist the temptation. The devil said what? Jump. We said what? How high? All right. He said party. We said what? All night long. Amen. 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 We were helpless. We were weak and unable to save ourselves. But Christ. Somebody say, but Christ. Right. Amen. But Christ came in due time according to verse 6. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. He came in due time. Glory be to God. He says, for when we were still without strength, in due time Christ came for the ungodly. That's you and me. Right. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, uh. He came just at the right time. God is never too late. God is never too early. He has never missed an appointment and he never what? Will. Amen. He did it in due time. Are you with me? He chose you. Watch this. He chose you before the foundation of the world was laid. Even before he had laid the foundation of the world, he chose you to be holy. Amen? And, and, and watch this. Even before you came into existence, he was tracking you. You ever order something online and they send you a confirmation? Come on, y'all gonna talk back to me this morning. They tell you you can track your, your, your package, amen. Here's the tracking number. Yep. Help me, Holy Ghost. My tracking number is J-U-S-U-S. -S. Come on here. J-E-S-U-S, -S, amen. I said J-E-S-U-S, -S. that's my tracking number. And holy lean on Jesus' name this morning, amen, amen, amen. Listen, I don't know, I don't know about you. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you've done or what you're doing, amen, but God has not forgotten you, amen, amen. And the last time I looked behind me, goodness and mercy were following me all the days of my life. Is that your testimony this morning? Amen. Goodness and mercy was following you all the days of your life, amen and amen. He's only doing these things. He's only allowed these things to come upon you, amen, to make you stronger, amen. If your faith can't be tested, your faith can't be trusted, amen, amen. For 25 long years, Abraham trusted God. Did he slip every now and then? Oh, sure he did, just like you and I don't slip, amen. But as long as you can, what, keep the faith, you will make it in, amen, because it's a what? Foolproof salvation. Amen, amen, amen. God is never too late. God is always on time. The Bible says it was due time. You cannot hurry God no matter how hard you try. You can't hurry God's love, amen. You just have to what? Wait. Wait. Amen. amen, amen, amen. His ways are greater than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. God has you on his schedule. Did you hear what I said? I said God has you on his schedule, amen. And what he has begun in you, he is able to complete. Somebody say thank you, Jesus, amen. Amen. You know, we start off in a relationship and it looks good for a while. Y'all going to talk back to me this morning, but as time goes by, amen, we start to rub together. Amen. Anything in motion is going to create friction at some time or another. Y'all not talking to me this morning because you live in the same house together, because you work together at some time or another, it's going to create some friction between you. Amen. But I stopped by to tell you this morning that God has your best interest at heart. And if you just learn to wait on him, he'll bring you through. Amen. Amen. He says to you, you are a success. You are not a failure. 
Oh, come on, talk back to me as yes, we can. We are expected to start last and finish first. Amen. That's the tag that they have put on us. We even said to ourselves, amen, we talked down to ourselves, you'll never be nothing. You're just like your daddy. Come on, talk back to me if you can. Amen, amen. We need to be careful about the words that come out of our mouth because they start from the heart, amen. And God desires truth in the inward part, amen. So if you get some truth in you, it'll run the hell out of you. You didn't hear what I said. <laughs> you are a success. You are not a failure. You are the head and not the tail. God is getting ready to change your location. I said, God is getting ready to change your location from victim to Victor Street. Come on, y'all want to get on Victor Street? You get ready to get on Victor Street. Amen, 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 amen. God intends for you to succeed, and his plans for you are good and not evil, that you might have what? An expected hope for your future. Amen, amen. In due season. In due season, God was watching you. He was waiting for you to get it right. To acknowledge that he is God and besides him, there is no other. I'm about through. I'm getting ready to take my seat. But I just want to tell you just a couple of things before I sit down. The Bible says that Christ died. I ask you, did he die? Did he die? Did he do it? Yes, he did. And his resurrection, what? Proves that he was dead and he lives again. But watch this. He died for the ungodly. He died for the unworthy. He died for those who were what? Without strength. Amen. Had no thoughts of doing what? Right. But always what? Doing what's wrong. What satisfies me first. Amen. You see, you can do something that's good, but it's wrong if it's only about you. Come on here, somebody. We got to get self out the way, my brothers and sisters. But the word of God says that for scarcely for a righteous man would one die, yet perhaps for a good man one would even dare to die. For a righteous man, a man that's supposed to be what? Upstanding, high morals. Which one are you going to go die for? Him? You say to yourself, well, he's so righteous, he ought to die for himself. <laughs> Y'all ain't going to talk to me this morning. But then what about him? Uh, it says right here in verse 7, he says, but for a good man. That man go out, he go to work 6 o'clock in the morning. Come back 6 o'clock in the evening, all dirty, covered with flour. Walk to work and walk home. I don't mean a block. I mean a country mile. Amen. Amen. And never complain about his job. Amen. Amen. And try to feed his children with a third grade education. Amen. 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 But he never once complained. You might think about dying for such a man as this. Amen. But Christ died when we were utterly helpless. Amen. Amen. Weak. And a sinner. And an enemy of God. We were the enemy of the state. But yet, God, through his infinite wisdom, and right there in verse 8, his great love, amen. It says his own love, amen. We did love him first to teach him how to love even though we think we're the author and the finisher of love we even think that we're the greatest thing since sliced bread amen we don't know how to love until we first learn to receive his love amen amen, amen. I told you this thing is what counterintuitive it doesn't make sense 
that somebody's going to like, love or care for you more instead of less because you treat them good and they treat you bad. No, no, no. It's not going to work like that. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, he will enable you to stand in the midst of everything that's going on. Yeah. You will stand, and when it's all said and done, you will still be standing right. because it's foolproof. Amen. 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 You are, are you ready, my brothers and sisters, to discover this morning who you truly are and whose you are? Amen. Amen. But in order to, to, to receive this blessing, amen, you have to be ready to accept the word of God, to accept the sacrificial death and the resurrection of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. As the Lord told Moses concerning the children of Israel, the Lord told Moses, he said, Moses, tell my people that I will judge them and that I will have compassion on them when they see that there is no power other than myself. You see, he's waiting for you to surrender to him. Amen. But as long as you think you can do it all, amen, he will not intercede any further than what he is doing right now. You have to understand, my brothers and sisters, God has a permissive will and he has a preferred will. Amen. He prefers you be in his preferred will and not his permissive will because in your in the permissive will, he still recognizes you are still what? Sinning. But according to John's writings, he said the sinner will not always abide in the house of God forever. Amen. Because as long as you keep sinning, you become a slave to sin. But Jesus died for you and rose again that you might become what? A slave to righteousness. Right. So you have the choice this morning. We were utterly helpless. We were weak. We were without strength. We were the enemies of God. Yet in due season, he sent his son to die for our sins. That should have been us hanging on the cross. Amen. But he came and he interceded on our behalf because he had known us before the foundation of the world and he was on our tracks from the beginning and he will not what? Leave us nor forsake us, my brothers and sisters. And even as I speak, even as I stand behind this sacred desk, he sits at the right hand of the Father. Amen and amen. And he intercedes on our behalf. Amen. He's praying for you and he's praying for me right now. Somebody ought to tell him, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for praying for me. He's interceding on our behalf. And he wants you to choose to believe that this wonderful relationship that you are now able to experience, glory be to God. He says, this wonderful experience that you can, ex this wonderful thing that you're about to experience, this relationship with God, he says, is foolproof. And not even a fool can stop it. Right. Somebody say, amen and amen. <laughs> Give God a hand of praise. He's wonderful. He, he, he is the initiator. He initiates the affair. He starts it. Are you with me? You with me this morning? He ain't talking about me and Mrs. Jones. You know, you know that song. There's a thing going on. Amen. See, he's loving on something that don't belong to him. Huh? 
You got to know. He he initiates this affair. This is a good affair. Amen. Amen. Not only does he initiate the affair, he cultivates the romance. Come on, here, somebody. He's not romancing the stones. Because the stones are dead. Y'all didn't hear me this morning. Amen. Amen. He's romancing that which was dead, but now has what? Become alive. Amen. Not only does he, 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 not only does he initiate the affair, and not only does he cultivate the romance, but he also consummates the marriage. See, the marriage is not legal until it's consummated. <laughs> Y'all ain't with me this morning. Y'all ain't with me this morning. That, that roof should be about three feet higher right now. If you, if you understand that, man, he, he's like that. And, and because he's like that, you can shout for joy. You can shout the victory. I told you, he's changing your location. From defeat street to victory street. He says, from now on, you shall experience the thrill of victory and then no longer the agony of defeat if you're willing to make the right choice this morning. Won't you choose to believe? Won't you choose to believe this morning? It's foolproof. It's guaranteed. It's infallible. And it will never fail. He has never lost a battle. Somebody say amen and amen. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Amen. As we get ready to close out this morning's service, we want you to keep in mind that what you have received has no flaws in it. What you have received is permanent. It's written in the hallways of heaven. Amen? Amen. And I am glad about it. Let us pray together. Gracious and most loving Father, our Lord and our God. It is once again, Lord, our delight, oh Father God, to, to, to declare your truths, oh Father God. But God, I pray that I've done what you sent me to do. I've watered. Lord, somebody will come along and uh, I plant it, brother, and somebody will come along and they will water this word, oh Father God. But ultimately, Father, you bring forth the increase. If we are to grow as a people, as a church, Father, I believe we have to wait on you. And that we have to learn to trust in your every word. So, Lord, speak to the hearts of your people, O God, and remind them that they are blessed. Not just blessed but blessed by the best. Lead us, Lord, and we shall be led. Feed us, Father, and we shall be fed. Do it all, O oh Lord, not to our glory, but to thy glory. For it's in Jesus' matchless name we stand and say, Amen and amen. Amen. That's in my heart.